Hello. Um, hi there. I'm here a late, yes, late because of the um, 90 Day Fiance. I got into that, Kalani and all that crap. Um, she's leaving Asuelo finally, I guess. I don't know. I didn't even finish because I was getting later and later and later. So, hi, Foxy Lady. Hi, Sean. Um, hello, Mary. Uh, tonight, we are going to be reading, um, not in this one, but when I get off of this one, we're going to be reading, hi, Deb on the move, Letitia's letter about food talking to her and stuff. I purposely did not read it. Okay, because I said I want to read it the first time with you guys. Okay, so it should be um, interesting to say the least. We're going to do that after this. But I just want to show you some things that I got at the Christmas tree shop. I don't know that I can show you. I think I can show you everything. All right, let me see. All right, let me do that. I'm going to try and do this like this. Okay. So I found some great napkins. I love getting napkins at the Christmas tree shop. I saw these um, and I like these and you get a lot in here. See, that's why we have napkin exchanges. And then, I mean, I, I had to control myself and you're gonna be like, no, you don't look like you controlled yourself, but I did. Got these. They had a lot of their fall napkins out. These. Now, mind you, if you have a Christmas tree shop around, you could probably make some pretty good money because people sell like two to four of these napkins for, um, you know, I, I don't know what it is. Something it could be anywhere from four to eight dollars for four napkins. And um, these are made in Germany, okay? These napkins are made in Germany, and there are, uh, how many in here? 40, okay? So just do the math on that. Check on eBay if you want, or um, Amazon. It wouldn't cost much to mail them, I'm sure, if you're just sending napkins. It's interesting. Okay, some things I can't show um, because some things I bought, but I bought, the, they only had one of these. I'm buying it for DIY or something. I'll show you that later. Some things I can't show because, well, some things I can't show. Why? Because, why? Because we like you. Um, why, why? Because they're going into gifts for people, and I want people to be surprised when they get their gifts um, and not be like, oh, gosh, I saw that. I, though I really hate it because some of this stuff is so darn cute. But I can show you what I got like, for myself. Lou, can you get me those um, those mats that I got that are under the kitchen sink? I love peanuts. So I got this. That's my addiction with mugs and my addiction with peanuts. I got that. Also got these. I really like these. I think, you know, those are going to look great on, um, you remember how I made those vases for Easter out of the mm, spaghetti jars uh, sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, be, please be careful. Watch my coffee is over there too before you like not send it flying. Turn it around though. There you go. There you go all the way. Okay, I love these. I saw these. I think I saw these last year, but they I don't know if they had these designs. They might have only had one left, and it was like well, Thanksgiving or something, and it was like right around the holiday, and I just didn't feel like, um, I don't know. I, I was trying to be a minimalist then, but I use these right by my sink and, and stuff. So, yeah, you've got to pull that one down. They can't see it. So that's the fall one. Let's see. And that one, and they were uh, $12.99, and they're really nice. So I got those. Is that leather? I, I don't know. 
Uh, it's probably it's probably vegan leather, which is pleather. Okay. And then these napkins. Okay, and. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just be careful about my coffee over there, please. Oh, I did get some of the, the, I, the reason I got these, oops, be careful, because um, I can't even make these with the Cricut for the, for the price that these are. These were like a dollar, what were they? A dollar forty nine. What? I wasn't there with you. I know you weren't. And this is the wicked old hag snake oil for man or beast. Good for man or beast. Genuine. They had a lot of them. They had uh, like bat wings, all kinds of stuff. But it even has the little cork in the top and it's wrapped here. That's a dollar forty nine. I'm not gonna make it cheaper than that. So I got that. And they had a lot of different kinds. And I got, let's see what else I got. And they had a different bottles. They had even big, big ones. It said like snake venom and everything. And I got poison, owl droppings, drink at your own risk. 100% supernatural. There, what is in there, Mom? It's nothing. It's nothing. You can put like a something in there with food coloring or maybe. It's just a ruby glass. Um, I also bought these. Um, these were on sale. The $1.99 and then they 25% off or so and I don't know, whatever it came to, like a what did she charge me? $1.49, I think. But I want to try to use these for those boxy bags and stuff of things. I want to use them some way. I bought four of these. I got this from my powder room because I needed um, something for the vanity there. And this, this is weird. It didn't have a price when I was there. I saw a price of like $2.99, 25% off or something because it was in the summer. And then the guy said it was $1.99. She gave me 25% off that. So, yeah, that was worth it. Okay. Um, more napkins. I know. They had these, which I wish I could have sent these to people, but I can't send these to people because they'll melt. It's still too hot. Um, they had different kinds too. This is the masterpieces. They had some that were one flavor. How much you think? I don't know, they were like $3.18, I think that's what they were. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And then um, I had to get a few of these frames for wallets picture for wallet pictures, and these are like 79 cents. No big deal. Uh, and they had two of these frames that I needed. Burns of Boston, five by seven, and these are $3.99, so I needed two of those that are like in a silver kind of pewtery. Okay. Back to the napkins, got another one of those. those. I really like these. I like these a lot. 
We should have got two packs of these. I like this a lot. This, these will look really nice on a variety of boxes and stuff, and they have a really good background color. Oh, but I'm going to make those vases. That's what I was going to say. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on a minute. Jimmy didn't throw the one. I just put, I just washed it out. I just washed it out at the other house. He better not have thrown that away. Um, these vases. Remember I made these out of um, spaghetti sauce jars. I think they were Barilla jars. And this is with a napkin. That's the bottom of the napkin. Then I used the, I used that crackle glaze on it. Look how beautiful that turned out. It crackles best on glass. Look at that. But I'm gonna do that. I love the way. I have not got a crackle to do this except when I do it on glass, okay? I'm gonna do another jar. I, I'm gonna do it with the fall. And I think like um, that one right there, right there will look nice. And I think some that have the leaves against the white background because I like the whitish background because if you use a chalk pant or something, it comes really nice. Okay. Yes, we're going to do that. We are going to do that. I will do a tutorial thing. We could do a live tutorial or whatever, or on a craft night, but I am is definitely Carol, doing is that. Is Carol Boyce there, Mom? Is Carol Boyce there? I don't know. I just want to know. Carol Boyce, are you here? Wait, I don't want to tell her something. You want to tell her something? Okay, here's another one that I think will really look nice on those vases. This is a white sunflower with a white background, and you see it has the blue, which, if you look carefully, this is like, that. that is the bottom of that napkin, you see? Uh, I will tell you if I see Carol Boyce. So, I think that'll look really good on that. Sorry, Mr. Gnome. And also, this would make a really nice vase, too. Uh, it would be very whimsical, I think. You love being here. Well, thank you. Um, Did you see Carol Boyce yet? No, I haven't seen Carol Boyce yet, but my thing is, says it's low battery. I've got to find my charging thing. Oh, and I think these would be great on one of those vases. This, These would, that is going to, on those glass jars, when I say vases, I am going to be making a bunch of them. I love doing the glass jars. And that's a sauce jar. Yes, that is a sauce jar. It's a spaghetti sauce jar. Mm -hmm. And I have one that I just used at the lake house. I have a tutorial on this. I did two of these. I love them. Um, but I want to do more. What am I talking about? I've done many more. I've done many more bottles and things. Let me show you this other one. I've got to get something. Carol Boyce, uh, any, if anybody knows if Carol Boyce there, put one. I wonder if Carol Bush is there to just talk. If she's there. Two, okay, and she's not. I guess she's not. This is another one that I did. I did this one without the crackle. She's not there, okay, thanks. I did this one without the crackle, and it was like I textured it. You see, it looks like stucco because I put it on with a very rough sponge. Look at that, and so it gives it a stucco appearance. That was one, that, that was an Easter one, but wait. I'll show you the crackle again. Why I love that crackle so much on glass jars. Fortnite, so Jimmy. So I am gonna be playing Fortnite. So Jimmy. I did make 
Roblox one of these today. I think I, I was just checking it out because I was playing Roblox one yesterday and decided to make a video today about it. So I recorded the video and made it. So I'm sorry I'm not reading the comments because I'm playing Fortnite right now. Yeah. Now, of course, you can't hear me, Lou. So. Got a selective hearing on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is the other one I did. This is a glass bottle. This is a kombucha bottle. Um, it's not, yeah, this is a, this was a, yeah, this was a kombucha bottle. And I don't even know what flavor this was because it's not the one that, yes, it is the one that I think has the ridge here. The, uh, I just got a few more of them, like four or five new ones of them. Jimmy better not have thrown them out on me. Um, see the crackle, how nice it works on the glass bottles. I absolutely love it. It makes them look old and antique. I love it. Okay. Now let me try to find Jimmy. No, I'm not really trying to find Jimmy. I'm trying to find my charger. Otherwise, it's going to die. Oh, there it is. Oh, I hope that's mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. I remember that. I hope that's mine. Let me see. Now he'll come watch. What do you want? Let's make sure this is mine. Hi, guys. Sorry for the disruption. Okay. We're good now. Okay. I'm trying to put that down. All right. So, yeah. I've got to be careful. Okay. And I got these uh, for a project. I know Henny makes these into pillows. Um, I don't know what I might do with them. I might try a pillow or something or make or just use them on a, um, on a small table. I don't know. I just thought they were cute. They were like $1.49, and they're like a tapestry. All right. And then look how cute these are. And these are like really nice and soft, not hard. These are the, instead of the red truck, there's a lot of blue. This is the blue truck. Really, really nice. Those. Um, what else? How cute is this one? How cute. This reminds me of that. Oh, careful, Luke. This reminds me of that mug that Gary drinks out of with the squirrel with the. Luke, please with the squirrel with the red scarf. This is a cat with an orange scarf. How cute is that? Loud. Okay, never mind. Look how nice those are. Those are really cute. Um, 
This is another design that'll look great on one of those glass vases. Once you, like I always say, there's so many people that pick the right design. They have the right perfect napkin all the time. Well, um, I'm getting better at that. Mm -hmm. How cute are these? This is an oven mint with sunflowers and the matching pot holder. also had uh, these, a little bit of like farmhouse theme pumpkins for the pot holder, that one, and that, very cute, okay, I'm just going to show you stuff, um, you're not going to know where it's going, if it's going to somebody, you don't know if I have five other sets behind me, I'm just going to do that, so this pad, I thought it was really cute. Okay, and then there were puppies. Really cute. Okay, let's see. Um, I, uh, let's see. And then they have owls. Owls. These are really cute. They stand. Little owls. For fall or whatever. I like owls. Owls. And then these were pretty cool, just whimsical and fun. And they had different designs, but these were the, the rats, <laughs> the rats. And, uh, you know, you can just put them somewhere and leave them there or just, you know, do something fun with them. I'm sure you could even use them like decoupage and seal them on something. Okay. And... Oh, these are really cute. There's a lot of things I'm sure you can do with these. And being that I have a squirrel, these are like these acorns, and they look like glass, but they're not glass. They're table scatter, and they come in three different colors. And then here are the um, autumn leaves. Same kind of thing, looks kind of like glass. You love owls, Davida? And then these are the little pumpkins that look like glass, and I'm sure there's a lot of crafts you crafty people can think of, right? Okay. And then I love little um, houses that are really colonial um, era, so I got this one. And... This one, okay, let's see. I like to put those on my windowsills and things now. Well, these are cute for a house either by the sea or by the lake. This is a set of three anchors. So you could put them on your wall in different places. You could leave them just like this. You could hang it like this. Lots of things you can do. Lots of crafts, you could use them in a wreath. I know some of you crafty people would use these in a wreath. Um, lots of crafty, craftiness to go around. Now. Okay. And then I showed you the scatter. I showed you those.
I might have picked this up for somebody. I don't know. I might have picked that flower towel up for somebody. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Now. Is that? Is, no, that's not it. Oh, and then they have these. Um, chenille. I don't know why they're say chenille, because God bless you, it doesn't really feel like chenille. Chenille trivets, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. And sunflowers, happy fall. Also, let's see. God bless you, Luke. Some of these sunflower picks. Speaking of those vases, and then um, when I talked about that gnome holding that pumpkin, they had only two of these. They're so soft. They only have two of those. And they also had these felt leaves. They have a lot of pumpkins and everything in these blue tones. So blue is really, really big this year, along with the... Uh, pickup truck that's normally red uh, they're putting it in blue though they had a red one a metal sculpture for fall but they're using a lot of blue pumpkins blue jack belittles like these aqua blue tones and so I guess these go along with those tones and of course they have the regular those are all good for crafts lots of crafty people out there um what else? I liked, ow, 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 Jimmy with this stuff. Um, sorry, I like these colors with some of the stuff. So I got these two. Well, I might have more, who knows? Somebody might be getting some, I don't know. Okay. These are really cute to sometimes put in an arrangement for like whimsy and fun. And they're in like fall colors. So you can use them on a lot of stuff. Okay, I think, let me see. I showed you the huts that I got at um, TJ Maxx. Again, those are those happy, those huts by Zippy, Zippy Paws, and then the pumpkin, which I don't know where the pumpkin is right now. My Jimmy might have put that one in there. Oh no, it's over, it's over here. Excuse me, it's over here. And the pumpkin has the bats. And I did get the gnome that you see sitting in front of you. Well, can you pick up that gnome for me a little bit? Where is it? The gnome, the guy with the brown hat. Huh? Well, let's try to see if I have, I think I, I think I had another bag somewhere, somewhere. But I was being, I don't understand a little bit of how that was what it was. There was oh, I got the map. So what do you want me to do, like lift? There it is. Mug and I got the things. All right, it's like a lot. That's, something seems weird or off or something. Either I'm missing bags or something happened. I don't know. Okay, I'll figure it out. Probably missing bags is what it's likely boils down to. Okay, so that that's that, and that's TJ Maxx, and that is. Oh, I want to show you my Care Bears that I pulled last night because you couldn't see them. Like...
Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Again, I don't know how I pulled all these Care Bears because I don't even know how I got the other two boxes in my cart. I thought that was a gamble. I didn't even think they were the blue ones. I have no recollection of how they got there. It's scary. But I pulled this one. This is Wish Bear from the World's Smallest Toys. I don't know how I pulled the entire series when I only found one box and I only found two Care Bears at the very last minute. I threw two in there. It's crazy. I don't even understand. I don't understand how in the world I did it. I, I can't figure out how the, where I got those boxes. I have no recollection. It scares the crap out of me. Um, then I got the Lucky Bear. Okay. And then I think, I, is this, um, I don't know which one this is with the two hearts. And then Tender Heart. That's all the bears in series two of the world's smallest toys. Okay. And then, okay, on the series one, um, I have the Sunshine Bear, I pulled three of these, and I have one of the Pink Bears, and I didn't bring it in, hold on a minute. For those of you just joining, we are gonna do a true crime feature in a little bit. We're gonna read Letitia's letter about peanut butter talking to her. Okay, and so the other night I pulled the world's smallest Nerf football. And then this was the other bear. So I have the yellow bear and the pink bear. These are series one bears. I still need grumpy and the purple one. Okay, then we had a hedgehog thing that went on. Uh, Moo was very interested in seeing the hedgehogs. Here's the hedgehog twins. They're actually wearing a wig. Let it focus, focus, there you go. It actually feels like, a, you know uh, what the rabbit's feet used to feel like? It's kind of what it feels like, but it's a wig. I took it off last night, okay? And then we have little Lisa Hedgehog. No, her name is not really Lisa, but she reminds us of Lisa D. So we call her Lisa. Hi guys. So Lisa D doesn't talk like that. Carol, what are you doing? Hoppy like Scooter. What did you guys do to me? Okay. And then she sits on a little train. And the little brother twin, he kind of crawls along and he can, he can push her. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Anything else to show you? Hold on a minute. I got to put these back because I just don't want to leave these where my dogs can get them. The dog, I should say.
Weapons. Yeah, that's that looks like it. I mean, I don't know what I did there. I went to Walmart. The freak did I buy at Walmart? I'm really scaring myself. I bought four of the little toys. They were all Care Bears. And what did I buy? The rest of the stuff must have been like it was kombucha. I went to Target. Oh, I know what I had to show you. See. Went to Target and I only bought kombucha and this type of cake thing. And I went to Walmart and I bought, what did I buy at Walmart? Must have just been all food except for the little toy things and maybe some pet stuff. I don't even know. I'm just really scaring myself. Um, I bought this set because look at this. Look at the little pram. It's hard to see it there. It's one of those UK like really big wide prams like the Silver Cross. And then it has a little height chair and it has a little dresser and a little elephant. And this was only $9.99. They're so cute. And it's uh, Baby Alexander's Visit. I got that because I'm a sucker for Peppa Pig. Uh, I must have bought coffee at the Christmas tree shops. Yeah, I bought coffee. What else did I buy? I bought Andy's chocolate mint coffee. Oh, my goodness. What did I buy at Walmart? I must have bought some other stuff. I don't know. So anyway, I am going to put this away. I've got to pack up Moose box tomorrow. I've got to pack up some other boxes, but I have to wait on some stuff before I can send J Bell's thing out. I've got to pack up some stuff for people and send it out. Um, Haiti praying. So. I don't, I don't. I don't even know what else. I'm scaring myself, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let myself get scared. I'll see you guys. We're gonna read Letitia's letter, where the peanut butter is talking to her. Apparently, I'm not gonna read it ahead of time. It's like a four or five page letter. I'm gonna read it with you. Um, it tells of how badly she's being treated. Um, just kind of craziness that she's being mistreated. Food is being tampered with. Uh, peanut butter is talking to her, apparently. Um, all right, so. Uh, oh, yeah, Felicia? I want to make some of those vases. You have it memorized? <laughs> okay, well, we'll we're going to read. I haven't read it yet, Ivy, but I'm going to read it with everybody tonight. And if you haven't read it, then... It will be um, your first time too. Scooter's not reading it yet, so. Anyway, you sent me an email. Yeah, I'm on my phone. I can't check emails. I cannot. Uh, August 31st date of our princess. All right, so let's, um, that's it then, that's it. This is over, we're over, we're done, we're finished. Okay. I'll see you in a, in a little bit, all right? You're probably not going to get a notification because I put too many um, videos up. So please, 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 please check for me in about 15, 20 minutes, all right? Hey, Nicole, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye. Love you. Let me see.